Welcome to Target Takes On. Today I'm taking on your must have tools as a beginner cook and I'm gonna show you how to use them. My name is Ahmed Dhabi, aka The Golden Balance. Although I've had a lot of kitchen experience, I know it could be super intimidating for beginners. Sometimes just knowing where to start is super important. Today, I'll be showing you how to clean and prep your cutting board, how to select your knife, how to use a salad spinner, measuring spoons, food storage bottles, a mesh strainer, nonstick pans, and finally, a meat tenderizer. Cleaning your cutting board is super simple. Give it a quick and light scrub down, and then without drenching your cutting board in water, just give it a wipe down with a nice kitchen cloth. To protect your cutting board and make sure all the wood is nice and moisturized, you wanna grab an oil, in this case I'm using some coconut, grab a very small amount and just start rubbing it into your board. Let it sit out for a couple hours and that oil is gonna get absorbed into the wood. Now you don't have to do this every single time, but I like to do it at least once a week. In my opinion, the cutting board and knife are the most essential kitchen gadgets for beginners to learn. How do I know which knife to select? The first knife you wanna get is a chef knife. Between six to nine inches depending on your preference. Look for a very comfortable handle and you typically want the handle and blade to be the same weight. I beg you, do not put your knife in the dishwasher. Now golden balance, how do I actually hold my blade? You wanna pinch each side of the blade and then you wanna wrap your other three fingers around the handle. And then your other hand, you wanna use your knuckles. Allow your other hand to guide the knife. This is why I could cut without looking. Now this is one of my favorite kitchen gadgets, the salad spinner. We're gonna add our lettuce into the basket. Rinse down your lettuce with some cold water. You remove the basket and just dump out your dirty water. Re-add the basket into the container, shut it up with the lid, and then with a the click of a button, your lettuce will spin and dry out. And all you need to do is press this button and it'll stop. And then within two seconds, you have clean, dry lettuce. This will result in a longer lasting, crispy product. Now, as a beginner, to accurately use the proper amount of ingredients, I highly recommend investing in some measuring spoon. Then the better you get, the less you need these. Our next product is a food storage bottle. This is one of the most satisfying products to use in your kitchen. And then now you have any sauce or oil that you could just drizzle like this. Our next showcase item is a mesh strainer. These are super handy when you are straining out pasta in your sink. And plus this one is metal so it handles the high temperature. Or if you wanna rinse off any vegetables, put your products inside the mesh strainer and wash them over the sink. And now you have a water-free product. The next kitchen essential that you wanna have is some nonstick pans. Make sure you're washing them with regular dish soap, but keep in mind these are usually dishwasher safe. Two major tips that I want you to keep in mind. Do not let these overheat on your stovetop. And the number one tip is do not use metal utensils on them or you will ruin them. The last tool is a little bit more low key and it is a meat tenderizer. The flat surface actually flattens out the protein that you're using and the textured side is actually to tenderize the meat. And we're just gonna hit our piece of chicken until it's nice and even on all sides. This will result in a more even cook. And this is dishwasher safe after it's touched your chicken. Don't let yourself be intimidated by the kitchen. Hopefully by learning how to clean and prep your cutting board, how to select, maintain, and properly hold your chef knife, along with other quick tips, you'll have more confidence going forward. And you'll be calling yourself chef in no time. Thank you for watching and make sure to check out Target's YouTube channel for more great how-tos. And as always, now bismillah.